it's southern. <laughs> Sleeping with your brothers is southern. The fight song for our high school. Onward, St. Olaf, they still sing it. <laughs> onward, St. Olaf, onward we go. Onward and on. <laughs> I can't remember when I had so much fun. We went dancing at the beachcomber. We're going to go back again tomorrow night. Oh, oh. Jeffrey doesn't dance. He says it makes his ankles swell. <laughs> Honey, I think it's terrific that you had a good time tonight. I have you two to thank for it. <laughs> good night. Good night. Hi, Mom. My God, it is Michael. Oh, Michael, look, Ma, it's Michael. Oh, honey, what a surprise. You look great. Oh, am I glad to see you. Honey, I have missed you so. Why the hell haven't you written your little ingrate? <laughs> Please, Dorothy. He's a big time user. Oh, I didn't try. I don't want to risk cracking a nail. What are these? Claws? Well, I figured you wouldn't mind, seeing as how you work with your hands all day. I'm a teacher. I grade papers. I don't shuck oysters. Thank you. I'm going next door to Frida Goodson's. We're having a club meeting. I didn't know. <laughs> You startled me. Oh, I'm sorry. Next time I'll I'll knock. I like your bathroom. Yeah. Kids gave it to me for Father's Day. I wish I had that knack. Oh, and I don't. Oh. Rose, 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 Rose. How can I say this diplomatically? You're a blabbermouth, Rose. You're a blabbermouth. <laughs> Okay, so I made one little slip. So I told Harriet Wexler you had your ears... Oh. Number three, you can't eat cream of wheat because it's too spicy. <laughs> no. Will you stop? Will you stop? <laughs> I mean, this could be serious. Of course it could. That's why I'm trying not to think about it. I'll be honest. If anything happened to Rose, it would be like losing one of my own children. I'm going to the cafe. <laughs> Blanche, we said we weren't going to do this. Well, what else can we do? We never held a real conversation our entire lives. Well, then it's time for us to start. Okay. Fine with me. To us. To the beginning of a new and wonderful relationship to sisters. That's very sweet. Between the clothes on the rocks. Not, not the dishes. No wonder they broke. <laughs> okay, who wants to go shopping? It's a little early for that, isn't it, Renee? Then we're going out to eat. It's either shopping or eating. Take your pick. You didn't talk to him. I couldn't. Oh. oh. George was on call all weekend. Three heart attacks a Sunday. <laughs> May I help you? Uh, yes. Does the mean-looking white woman I just passed live here? Oh, no. <laughs> oh. Then I come to apply for the housekeeping position. <laughs> please, please, come right in. Thank you. I'm Marguerite Brown. Oh, I'm Dorothy. Take a while to warm up, but once I get going, I can turn your top soil till the cows come home. <laughs> Rose, please. Want to see some Polaroids of me in my tennis skirt? Look, Rose, I'm, I'm flattered, and please, no offense, but you're, you're just not my type. But Blanche was. <laughs> You just take a sleep and pill. Oh, I don't like to take pills. I get slap happy and say silly things. Well, we certainly wouldn't want that to happen. Hi, it's me, Stan. What do you want? Rose and Lucy's. What about you, Rose? Well, to be perfectly honest, I use a touch of peroxide. Shut up, Rose. You shut up! Now, stop it! Stop it! I cannot stand it anymore. You know what I can't stand anymore? That phony accent of yours. What is this, designing women? I'm a master in the studio. You must also be a master in the bedroom. <laughs> you think because you can work a piece of clay into a piece of beautiful art, you can also work a woman's body into fits of ecstasy and passion and total screaming abandon. <laughs> Oh, hi, Ma. Where you been? I took Augie to that cafeteria in the mall. Ah. Uh, well, you and Augie have been seeing a lot of each other these past few days. Yeah, we've been having a lot of fun. Augie's a terrific guy and a gentleman. Every time I leave the table, we've grown very close the last few days. 
Now listen, no one calls her Ma except me. You got that? Have I made that clear? Dorothy, no. Come down. Come down. What did I tell you? I knew it would get under her skin. <laughs> so tell me, Stanley. What? How are things at the novelty store? Oh, uh, just great, Ma. Couldn't be better. I was salesman of the month. <laughs> and I'm sure that you'll be proud to know that the name's Bornak has become synonymous with plastic vomit. <laughs> uh, I... I would absolutely love a... <laughs> Ma, what are you doing? I'm giving the leftover meatloaf for thrilled. <laughs> what do you think? It's hot as hell in here. Close it before the food spoils. Okay. Quality time together. You know, sometimes we'll be watching TV and I start wondering how many more times I have left like that. And I find myself staring at her and like I'm trying to freeze her face in my memory. Like I never want to forget one single line or wrinkle. Charlie made me dress him when he had his heart attack before the paramedics got there. But he wasn't dressed? We were uh, making love. Oh, Rose, honey, you never told me. He, he died while you were making love? Well, he, he didn't die then. He had his heart attack then. Slept is all. You were there? Don't tell me where I went. I went to heaven. I saw the golden light and some angels in white robes with harps. I thought I was at Saks at Christmas. But then I saw your father. Really? He was surrounded by women. He's in heaven. <laughs> Did you see God? Stalic 17? I went for a walk. I couldn't sleep. I had a nightmare. Tell me about it, Sophia. Sometimes I can interpret dreams. Blanche sold the house and I wound up back at Shady Pines. Hmm. This is a tough one. <laughs> Dorothy, please don't send me back. Ma, I am not sending you back to Shady Pines. We tell Dorothy we want to go to Hollywood. Why don't we? As soon as she gets up. Oh, hey, to Hollywood. To Hollywood. <laughs> Morning. <laughs> I guess you ladies didn't recognize... I better make sure we packed everything. Well, thanks again. Goodbye, Francis. You be good now. Now, don't you worry about a thing. You go ahead. What a beautiful little thing. Oh, yes. What is it, Rose? A boy or a girl? Of course. <laughs> I mean, is it... For Your parents told you that. I don't care if they are from the South. Well, they didn't tell me words. They told me in actions. Like on our birthdays. Now, when we were little, every year, my sisters had huge parties mm -hmm. with clowns and magicians and tons of presents. No, and you didn't. Well, not exactly. I mean, I did have parties. And One I... woman who even had her jaw wired shut. Oh, is that something that you'll be testing, Rose? <laughs> oh, here you all are. How'd your physical go? Oh, just fine. The doctor could not believe it when I told him my age. Why? What age did you tell him? <laughs> There's nothing I can do, so get that look out of your eye and let go of my I am so excited. I just got a big bonus at work. Ah! And guess what I've decided to do with it? What? I'm going to have my breasts enlarged. Made love in the daylight. <laughs> Why is that amazing? Well, you can't hide anything in the daytime. At night, I could be Godzilla. You'd be thrilled. <laughs> I'm thrilled, period. Everything about you thrills me. And that's amazing. Blanche, would you mind coming over and actually doing something? Well, Dr. Bornak, are you implying I'm not pulling my way? That's between you and the laws of physics. <laughs> Come on, honey. These are your father's things. You should be helping. The auction's less than a week away. There's a lot to do. It's just so hard for... He's not dead. But he'll wish he was when those two barge in on him. <laughs> Who is he? His name is Al. No, I mean, what's he do? He imports diamonds. Oh, damn, I hope he's not dead. <laughs> he bought the farm. What farm? 
I am talking about your date, Rose. Who is this secret man you're seeing? Oh, it's not a secret. His name's Ray. He's a friend of Miles. You are dating a friend of Miles, you scallywag! You skunkweed! <laughs> What's that mean? I don't know. What is yours? Ma, I think this will be good for you. Mr. Porter seems like a nice man. I'm sure you'll have a lot of fun there. And don't forget the money. I haven't had a paycheck since 1942. And then I blew it all on war bonds. Well, at least you got it back. No! Italian war bonds. <laughs> I fell for their slick avatar. Oh, but who do we know who knows a man? Flint, you know hundreds of men. I know, I just like to hear you say it. <laughs> Hiya, sweetie pie. How you doing? Any of those things, but for one brief moment, Virginia would think she'd hit the jackpot. <laughs> That's one is a tramp. <laughs> Are they here yet? Uh, no, not yet, but uh, Rose left for the airport over an hour. <laughs> Maybe it was from their wedding album. Charlie, Kirsten, I want you to meet my friends, Blanche and Dorothy. Oh. Hello, Kirsten. Hiya, Charlie. Rose has told us that I'm going to die. Ma, the doctor says you're healthy as a horse. Well, actually, the doctor in our prepaid health plan says you're healthy as a camel. <laughs> I assume in his country it's the same as a horse. You know, Dorothy, for an extra $5, we can get a doctor who sees patients one at a time. It's been a real pleasure. Good night. Lucy, you're grounded for the rest of your stay here. Uh, and Blanche, wait! You're embarrassing me. Now, why don't you go get a good night's sleep and we'll talk about it when I get home tomorrow. I don't think you heard what I said. You are not going anywhere. Hey, Blanche, I'm 20 years old. I'm going wherever I please. A lightener. Clell lightener? I think I used that on my hair once. <laughs> Clell was the cutest boy at our high school. He was also the only sophomore old enough to get into a bar. So, what did you do when you got there? I sat in my father's truck for hours. So I came home. Blanche, call the police. I just saw a big, ugly man with a limp walk past my bedroom window. He was wearing Dorothy's coat. But then again, it was dark, and I tend to over-dramatize. What are you doing? Oh, she snuck out of the hospital. She's too scared to have her up. None of us is. We won't be better by then. Fine. Can I have your date? Of course, Ma. You can have my date, my dress, and my dessert at the dinner. Just leave me alone with my thermometer and the one nostril I can breathe out of. Great news, girls. I found my folk medicine book. It has a cure for everything. I hope it has a cure for cranky. There's a lot of those. Sweetheart, you're now in exactly the same position. Not exactly. I'm five years older. And nobody wants me around. Oh, honey, we want you around. We just can't afford to pay you. <laughs> Rose, Rose, look at me. Rose, listen, you are feeling sorry for yourself. Lynch, that's a beautiful reason to take that job. Mm -hmm. Well, that wasn't the only reason. Uh, that factory also had a comprehensive dental plan, and I was in desperate need of a bridge and two crowns. <laughs> War as hell. <laughs> So were my teeth. Anyway, <laughs> while I was working on that assembly line, why, I met a young man named Andrew. I mean, a few hot flashes, and that was it. Oh, I've heard about those hot flashes. They didn't bother me. Oh, I live in Florida. Who can tell the difference between a hot flash and a weather front? <laughs> oh, but it's all so depressing. I had a cousin once, didn't get a period for 20 years. Then at 72, she got pregnant. <laughs> Hello? This is Rose Nyland. What? I'm one of the winners of the Publishers Clearinghouse? <laughs> Ed McMahon wants to see me right away? I should leave my Burt Reynolds ticket on the dresser before I go? <laughs> Dorothy's going back. This was the most bizarre evening I've ever spent with a man. Including the time with the highlight team from Nicaragua? <laughs> She said one man. That was the most bizarre evening she ever spent with a team. Oh, those sandwiches, I am starving. Uh, they're baking lettuce and potato. 
understand any more. You don't even like him. You practically begged me to go out with him to get him off your back. Now you're angry because I, I didn't have a terrible time? Why do you care? Oh, no, I don't know. I don't know. I just know I'm terribly upset because I'm letting this get me terribly upset. <laughs> oh, Blanche, I'm sorry. Oh, that's all right. That's all right. Oh. Listen, last night... And... <laughs> what are y'all looking at? Get on back to your Lassua peas. <laughs> Dorothy, I promise you there's nothing between us. If there's nothing between you, then you will not go out with him tonight. Isn't that right? We're only going to see a play, and he's not even a husband. He's an ex-husband. Why am I even explaining any of this to you? All right, I'm fine. You'll have to excuse her. Funeral homes make her a little nervous. Golly, they used to make me nervous, too. You know, at a traditional funeral home, all they want to talk about is caskets, burials, dead people. Here at Forever Peaceful, we've gotten rid of all that morbid death stuff. What are you running here, a sushi bar? <laughs> Come this way. <clears throat> now, this is our... Uh... <laughs> It was the first year after Charlie died that was the hardest. I'd lie awake for hours. I just could not get used to sleeping alone. Then I started taking the extra pillows and shoving them under the covers so I... <laughs> so, uh, Margaret, you're from Atlanta. Well, that's right. That child over there is trying to steal my daddy away. She's no better than a tick on a slow-moving hound dog. <laughs> Why is everyone around here talking like Burl Ives? <laughs> I'll get it. Atlanta must be a lovely city. Have they re... Yes, uh, just a sea view and plenty of privacy. Isn't that right, darling? No, Daddy didn't. Uh, excuse me, I'll call you back. Blanche, I'm not sure I want to see you. I reckon you spoke your piece already. Daddy, I've been thinking, and I think I'm starting... <laughs> we have no view. <laughs> oh... When the revolution comes and the heads of the imperialist swine are impaled on sticks stuck in the sand for the peoples to spit on, you'll be glad you don't got a view. <laughs> and as your leader, I must decree that the fault indeed lies with Nolan. <laughs> well, since we're being honest, Dorothy, I have a question for you. You're supposed to be my best friend. Best friends are supposed to be able to confide on the wall here. What about it? Well, Dorothy knows a great deal about it. She studied in Rome and she lectured in Paris and she has a very keen eye for color and light and form. She's always the first one to compliment me on my wardrobe. Obviously, Blanche thinks very highly of you. Uh, yeah, she's dropping off my resume at the Vatican. While we're at the 4th of July picnic, the whole town is here. To hell with this town. Come away with me. But you're a drifter, Biff. I can't just pull up stakes and run off with you. Please reconsider, Josie. You're the prettiest girl in the county. I need to have your answer now. What's it going to be? I want you to... My name's Biff. I'm a drifter. My story isn't a pretty one, but it's one that needs to be told. It was 1950. It sure was, me. <laughs> Patrick swore to me that I was the only woman in his life. He told me the same thing, you liar. He said he was going to tell everybody about us. He said when the time was right, he was going to run a plane and ride it in the sky. You want to try it again? Are the babies asleep yet? No, they're pretending. They want me to leave so they can make fun of the way I change a diet. Makes it easier to breastfeed. You had a chin. But then, of course, we also showed home movies on your forum. <laughs> How are you feeling today, Sophia? My ear hurts. Ma, you were in a walkathon. Why should your ear hurt? From talking on the phone last night to hundreds of well wishes. Well, of course, they spread a newspaper on the floor for me. Right. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm kidding. You seem so amazed. No, I'm not amazed. I just mean I think it's nice that you do that. Oh, it's funny. I just assumed that you knew that I ate dinner. <laughs> I mean, man, I think it's nice that you go to people's homes for dinner. 
How would you like to go? The first really wonderful guy I've met in a long time, and he turns out to have a more serious involvement. With whom? I'm Dauber. <laughs> the church. Or at least he did until he met me. You know, you take the religious aspect out of this and it's really quite romantic. A man giving up everything for the woman he loves, kind of like the story of the Duke and Duchess of Windsor. Or the story of Rose and Charlie Nyland. <laughs> you know, when I think of one, I automatically think of the other. <laughs> When Charlie and I started dating, I got the feeling that his folks didn't like me. That's when I decided to get to the bottom of things, and I found out about it. Oh, hi. Can I make y'all some lunch? Sure. What are you fixing? Fruit salad. That sounds good. I'll go get Sophia. Oh, no. Don't bother. She said she has no appetite since she was stabbed in the back. Oh, my God. Who stabbed Sophia? <laughs> the chef at Benny Hanna. <laughs> Angela. As fast as I could. I just couldn't believe you forgot the peanut butter vanilla ice cream. It's Mario's favorite. I was so sure chocolate was his favorite. That's why I bought it this morning. Oh, my goodness me. I want you to keep Hunter occupied while I go after Jake. Go after Jake? Twelve hours ago, you said you never wanted to see him again. I made a mistake. A terrible, terrible mistake. What could I have been thinking of? How could I have let him go? What difference does it make how he dresses or how he eats? What matters is... He's a man I love. Goodbye <laughs> again. Hi, darling. Oh, Dorothy, I'm so glad things worked out. Oh, uh, me too. Maybe you're not a grandmama yet, but you're still a darn good mama. And Kate's gonna be a darn good mama too sometime. <laughs> Pop, that is enough. Come out of the bedroom now. Not while she's out there. She hit me. Ma, with a piece of bread. Five days old, it was like a jack handle. <laughs> he deserved it after the way he wished me a happy 50th birthday. Well, what are you talking about? You're 48. That's what I thought. <laughs> uh, I think I got one. Where? Past the lifeguard stand. Ball guy about 20 yards out? Yeah. Yeah, watch his face. Huh? Am I right? This just went up. I'll get back to you within 48 hours. <laughs> What's going on? Where did she take Fernando? She took him home, Rose. Rose, see, honey, uh, Fernando doesn't exactly belong to you anymore. Well, I kind of gave him to Daisy by mistake. <laughs> <laughs> the nerve of that guy. <laughs> what were you doing in Ladies Petite? <laughs> Come in. Oh, Dorothy, I'm glad you're home. Ma? Dorothy, how long have you been here? A while. He's not coming back, is he? Earth. She says that you are the scum of the earth. <laughs> but uh, she said it with a lot of love in her eyes. <laughs> He says he's sorry. Did you hear that, darling? He's sorry. So I guess that settles everything. Okay, good night, and we'll see you at your wedding. Girls, wait a minute. Yeah, I thought it would be fun. Uh-huh. Well, have yourself a good time, and try not to overdo it. Blanche, <laughs> what is that supposed to mean? Oh, nothing. It's just that these things can be a little strenuous for a woman of your years. <laughs> Who am I? Mamie Eisenhower? $1,000 prize is going to be mine. When I was younger, I was known as the dancing fool. Uh, how old were you when they dropped the dancing thing? <laughs> yowza, 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 ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the third... Because I think you're making a very big mistake. She seemed pretty upset. 
We just fired her. What do you think she meant when she said we were making a big mistake? She meant... It was the first wage I ever earned. Ma, they paid you in rocks? Hey, don't knock it. To this day, in some parts of Sardinia, two of these will get you a veal and pepper sandwich. <laughs> then you lied to me about it's helping me to sleep. Okay, I figured that... All the men were bald. Just me and a bunch of bald men. Oh, and I kept hearing the voice of God. Anyway, one day I just finally said to myself, Blanche, you are bigger than this. You don't have to succumb to any dream. Unless it involves meeting Mel Gibson at an oyster bar. Would you for me? What would you say? Oh, come on, Blanche. No, I'm serious, Dorothy. What would you say? Well, I... I guess I'd say that you were a lovely, generous person and, you know, one of the best friends I ever had. Nothing about go With me, off this plane. <laughs> what was that? Oh, that was them shutting the door. They shut the door? Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Candy. I'll be your flight hostess. <laughs> Please review the information cards in your... This is Lily Rose, I hear. I will inform the press we're about to begin. This is so embarrassing. Don't you worry about it. Now, look, we'll just let Linda read your letter. Nobody will be the wiser. Come on, Linda. Is it all right, Mrs. Myron? Oh, gee, I don't know. I, I, I guess so. Good. I was afraid I wouldn't get my moonbeam badge because he said a sunshine. But the important thing is, you are a chucklehead. <laughs> and, and we wouldn't trade you in for any other chucklehead in the, in the whole wide world. Why don't you take it, Dorothy? <laughs> Honey, you listen to me. What you did was great. It was historic. Honey, you're what? And all our grape stompers are ravaged by an outbreak of athlete's foot. <laughs> Soon the Chianti has a green hue and tastes like Desinex. <laughs> they call in Sicily's foremost podiatrist, Bruno Bonafig. <laughs> Um, Dorothy, this is Blanche. Blanche, this is Dorothy. <laughs> you have jokes like that around here all the time. <laughs> it's like living in a house full of Howie Mandel. <laughs> Sven, I'm Dorothy. Hello. And I'm Blanche. Welcome. <laughs> Thank you. Rose tells us you're getting married. Yes. Dress. <laughs> I am not taking mine back. I am not taking mine back. Girls, I really need to talk oh, to I you. Think this is crazy. Since when do you care how you look? I think it started when I came down from the bell tower and had my hump fixed. Mama. Rebecca. Oh, oh me. Oh, me. Oh, let me get a look at you. This could take several hours. <laughs> Oh, darling, I have missed you so much. Oh, I missed you too, Mama. Oh, come on, maybe we should leave them. Three different suitors beg her to stay, but she can't decide who to choose, so she chooses none of them. But she agrees to meet with them at the same resort many years later. To her trio of suitors, that eventful gathering was referred to as Rendezvous with Sophia. An itty bitty detail about you. <laughs> that I'm a priest. Uh huh. She didn't know. What you think? You were just a boring dresser? <laughs> She's never seen me in cleric's clothing. I didn't know you priests could take your clothes off. <laughs> Devil you. I just figured out what's going on here. Blanche. <laughs> You were sore at me for inviting your friend without asking you, so you had this guy to come over and teach me a lesson. <laughs> We're not meant to live together. I hate to agree with you, but I think you're right. I think so, too. In fact, I know so. This is exactly what happened during the Great Herring War. <laughs> The Great Herring War? Yes, between... You know, with all the work I put in on this campaign, I might as well run for fashion show chairman myself. <laughs> That's so funny. 
You, Rose, you can't be fashion show chairman. Well, you thought Giorgio Armani was a puppet on that son. What do you do when you and Raymond want to, you know, make love? Blanche! Well, it's bound to come up. How do you handle it? Yeah, Dorothy, how do you handle it? <laughs> handle it? I can't even get close to it. <laughs> Look, Mr. Hastings, when I made those recommendations, I never intended for you to fire Mr. Terrific. I mean, I was merely Darcy, suggesting... the guy is that... history. His day is over. People don't want that kind of show anymore. But the public loves yeah, it. Yeah, that's his story. The numbers say different. I found him. Great. You got two minutes to lay our time. I'm not going on. Oh, no offense, dearie. I didn't say that everyone there was an idiot. It just seemed, though, that per capita they had more than their share. <laughs> Oh, well, per capita, you're probably right. <laughs> so, do you live in Northern Falls? No, I'm paying my daughter a visit. For Mother's Day? Me too. Oh, not just my daughter. All of my children. <laughs> they chipped in and paid for my trip from Miami. They figured it'd be cheaper for me to come here than for all of them to fly there. They figured that out? <laughs> A distant cousin of mine married a local St. Olaf girl. What was the girl's name? Sonia Jungen... Jungen Frolich Steiner? <laughs> you know her? You know her? I was flower girl at the wedding. <laughs> well, of course, there were no... <laughs> Whatever happened to her? She colonized life on Venus. <laughs> She was 94 when I was six. She died, you idiot. <laughs> Does not want us to say a word about this to anyone until we hear from him again. Not a word. Is that understood? Yes. I thought I heard voices in here. What you girls do? Oh, nothing. We're just sitting talking. That was the worst night I've ever spent in bed with a woman in my life. <laughs> Wait a minute, Ham. Are you saying the only reason you've kept turning me down is because of the bad time you had that night? Yes. <sighs> oh, well, Blanche, this changes everything. <laughs> There's all that... Star, I made some nice hot cocoa. <laughs> now, Rosa, tell us how you got up the courage to save that eagle. It was just a bird. Well, what about saving that there school bus, huh? I just gave it directions. Oh, yeah, but there was a bridge washed out on the road ahead. Really? I embody the values of truth and honesty for which the award stands. What happened to Emma Immerhofer? She was disqualified when they found a skeleton in her closet. Uh -huh. What was it? Mr. Immerhofer. Uh -huh. <laughs> this thing isn't solid gold, is it? Oh, no, you just peel off the gold foil and it's... True. We'd really like you to stay with us for the next 48 hours. Please. For half the price, I could go to Club Med, get a nicer room, better food, and not be forced to pee in a Dixie cup. <laughs> Is there a draft in here? <laughs> Ma, I am taking you to the hospital. No. Why not? But are you trying to tell me that possibly there is nothing wrong with you? No, uh, I feel better just lying here. The ride in the car could only make me feel worse. Yep, she's right, Dorothy. Sometimes just lying motionless is the... Hey. It was an accident, pussycat. Don't worry about it. That's it? That's all you have to say? Uh-huh. Oh, Ma, please yell at me. Please scream at me. Please make me feel guilty. I mean, if you don't say anything, I'll feel twice as bad. I know. I'm not an amateur at this. Excuse me. $10,000. 10000 once, 10000 twice, sold for $10,000. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much. Would you mind if I said a few words to the audience? For ten grand, they should let them shower with the audience. <laughs> Now I'll never get to fly on the Concorde. And I'll never get to buy that emerald pendant to dangle. But 
Oh, we don't want to stay. Oh, Mark. yes, we do. Uh, we have to, but just for the one night. Well, there's no need to be embarrassed. We're not here to judge you. We're just here to keep you safe and warm till morning. <laughs> Let me get you some pillows. I'll be right back. Blanche, this is insane. Dorothy, I'm not leaving here without that jacket. I'm with Blanche. We've come this far. After we get inside, we can all split up and look for it. Here are your pillows. Here it comes, Blanche. Too short? Next. <laughs> Clayton. <laughs> Clayton, you're not playing fair. That's a man. <laughs> The man's as gay as a picnic basket. <laughs> Ma, that, that... Honey, leave it alone. Blanche, listen. <sighs> nothing happened between me and Rose. Just like nothing ever happens between me and any of the women you set me up with. And there's a reason. What are you saying, Clayton? I'm saying, I'm gay, Blanche. Oh, <laughs> Clayton. Well, I think we spent too much money. Oh, stop worrying about the money. You were talking about love. I still think we spent too much. You didn't spend it. The yutz spent it. <laughs> That's what makes him a yutz. <laughs> so he is right. Don't worry about it. <coughs> Ma, Ma, I think you better sit down. Come on, over. Oh, I just love a mime. It's all on account of my Uncle Gustav. He was a coal mimer. <laughs> you mean a coal miner? No, a coal mimer. You see, he had a bad back, and he didn't want to lose his medical benefits, so every morning he'd go down the shaft and pretend the other team are the X's, and you're all O's. It's easy to remember. It's the number of points you scored this season. <laughs> Now, the tight end decoys, so it looks like we're running a draw play, and then he slips into a soft spot in the zone over the middle, the flanker fakes a screen, then keep it on the ground. Then, when they're used to it on the ground, we attack them through the air. I've used the same formula for 60 years of lovemaking. Trust me, it works. <laughs> okay, everybody, hit the field. Yeah! yeah! You're upset because you can't play, aren't you? Still could. <laughs> Make way for the victors. You won the big game. No, Rose. We lost, and we all changed our names to Victor. <laughs> of course we won. Now it's time for ice cream. Yeah! Are you good going, guys? <laughs> Good morning, Ma. <laughs> okay, good morning. Yeah, that's it. My butcher. <laughs> oh. How's your souffle, Rose? Delicious. I never did get the hang of making these. Rules. Girls, listen, maybe we don't have everything we need. Right, what are we missing? Well, we are going away for a romantic weekend to the Bahamas with Jeff and Rich and Randy. In this day and age, it might be a good idea to take along some protection. What kind of protection? <laughs> Two armed Pinkerton guards. A cruise with some longtime gentleman friends, and if we decide to be intimate, then we'll be prepared. <laughs> We are not embarrassed, we're not uncomfortable, we are not humiliated. We're gonna walk out of here today with our heads held high, secure in the knowledge that what we have done is morally and socially responsible. Tunder the mediocre became Tunder the magnificent. Guess he didn't want to change the monograms on his towels. Hmm? <laughs> well, Tunder the tiger spent so much time performing that he didn't have enough time to spend with his wife. Well, she told him that she missed the time they had together when he was just me. Explain our situation. He's always doing charity events. I guess it's worth a shot. Yeah. You don't have to go through all that trouble. He'll be at the show. What you need is faith. And what you need is a psychiatrist who enjoys a challenge. <laughs> 
the new world? Hey, anybody can say Baltimore. There's an author telling these stories. Sorry. Where was I? Departing for the new world. Oh, right. Anyway, the price of steerage turns out to be 900,000 lira. Or approximately a buck and a quarter. Each other bloody. It just isn't fair. But to whom? To, to the gamblers? Gambling is illegal in this state. Besides, you're such an underdog, even Betty the Weasel won't give odds. I overheard that at Bingo the other night. This way, everybody wins and nobody gets hurt. Now, what's wrong with that? <laughs> well, pardon me, Dorothy, but... We can't all come from places as socially acceptable as Brooklyn. <laughs> I'm sorry, Blanche. I'm sorry. Just go on with the story. Just try to shy away from words like tarnation and... So I decided to rearrange the kitchen cabinets. <laughs> I'm sorry I woke you. Go on back to bed. Rose, what do you do with these? Nothing. You were looking for those pills, weren't you? Blanche, get rid of them. You can't do that. They're mine. Get rid of them, Blanche. No! I thought you said you could take these or leave them. Well, that's true. Honey, are you all right? I'm fine. Oh, Rose, honey, can you ever forgive us? <sighs> well, it all depends. Will you believe what I say from now on, even if it isn't what you want to hear? Oh, of course we will. Will you believe me when I tell you that somebody... Hang-ups in two days. Miss Know-it-all, for your information, it takes three days. <laughs> so what did it do for you? I've learned a hell of a lot about what makes Stanley run. Why I'm so reluctant to make commitments. Why I can't keep friends. Why all my business ventures seem to fail. I finally have an answer. Her own little secret. Mm. <laughs> that and the dent in Blanche's car. <laughs> You are such a liar. What? Neither one of them is your best friend. Admit it. I'm your best friend. You're right. I was talking about you, Ma. <laughs> there are the Boscos. Philomena! Sophia, have you all had a chance to catch up on old times? Yeah, Angela filled me in on how all my friends and family back home are doing. How is everybody, Angela? Dead. <laughs> Angela and I are the only two left of the original family. That's... Yeah, come on, sweetheart. Oh, I know. I know. Here we go. Okay, cow. Hit it. She incredible. What do you say, girls? Can she stay? I guess so. All oh, right. Thanks. Angel of mercy. <laughs> well, I didn't know he was going to pick that precise hour to die. How could I know that? Well, he was in a coma. <laughs> oh, he'd been in a coma for days. <laughs> the fact is, I happen to be very good with sick people. I was once a candy stripper. Come on, tell me, how big a disaster was last night? It wasn't a disaster, Blanche. It was just uncomfortable. You know, I tried to find some common ground, something I could talk to Ken's circus friends about. But it turns out the human cannonball doesn't do that much reading. Mr. Sandman! Yes? Swing me a drink! Thank God, that means he's better! Uh, here, I'm pooped. Oh, I guess there must be a reason why women have babies when they're 20 ish instead of 40 ish. Blanche, the only thing in this room that's 40 ish is your hairdo. It's neither to the goat. This really isn't your problem anymore. It's Michael's. He just has to learn the things we need to know to be an adult. 
I had to call the band and beg for my job back. You got it? Michael, that's wonderful. Wonderful? It's humiliating. Oh, Michael. Look, I gotta catch a bus. You got my laundry? <laughs> Michael, I want you to know I think what your mother did was right. You may not see it now, but you'll realize it later. Welcome, welcome everybody. Merry Christmas. I just never thought there'd be children. Yeah. I know. And what is Santa Claus doing here? Oh, they pay these poor out-of-work guys 10, 15 bucks to stand on street corners ringing their bells for charitable contributions. 12 gross for my supplier in Germany. Everything's getting out of East Berlin except my fire engines. <laughs> they didn't get here till last night. Come on, Stanley, you've been down before. This is the nature of your business. Why don't you go home and enjoy Christmas and face the future tomorrow? I can't go home. I'll turn her in, Dorothy, but first, go out there and take care of those men. Blanche, I have to take care of my mother. I can't take care of both Miles and the men. Oh, Dorothy, please do this for Blanche, for me. Oh, all right. Now listen, I don't want my plan to go to waste. I still intend to date Jane. Oh, Ma, I remember when I was a little girl playing out in the street. I can still hear your voice. Dorothy, fix your dress. The whole neighborhood can see your business. <laughs> Sounds like me. Ma, we don't have too much time. Okay, let's get to the kitchen. I want to show you that hot I don't want to make a fool out of myself. Pussycat, you're never too old to make a fool of yourself. Those were your exact words when I told you I lost that money. Yeah. And you were right. I never felt so stupid. Of course, I would have felt a lot more stupid if it had been my money instead of yours. <laughs> Ma, what do you think I should do? Dorothy, if we were both 25, I could wait. But I need someone in my life now. Are you sure that you want to marry me? Or, or are you just afraid to be alone? Who wants to be alone? Nobody. I don't. But if you're marrying me because I happen to be... Are you? Who did she do this to, Dorothy? What's happening? Oh, Blanche, don't you see? We were supposed to look after her. We knew that she gets hot at weddings. She was counting on us. You don't look after me when I get hot. That's because I also have a day job. <laughs> Here's the bat. Nils Feelander attempted to harass me repeatedly. What do you mean he attempted to? He worked at Lars Erickson's drugstore and tackle shop. He was a soda jerk. <laughs> now that I think about it, he was the town jerk. <laughs> Every Saturday afternoon, I'd go in and have a Sunday. When Nils would arrange... I'm tired of running. <laughs> Where do I begin? Max Weinstock and my late husband, Salvador, were in the restaurant business together in Brooklyn. They had known each other... No, oh, what's the matter? Esther Weinstock is dead. We grew up together. She was my best friend. Oh, oh, oh. I'm so sorry. It's me, Stan. Hi, Stan. Come on. Oh, Stanley, how nice of you to stop by. Bring me anything? Of course. Now, who's my gorgeous gray-haired gal? It's me, isn't it, Stan? You're right. Wow, a Game Boy. Very nice. It sure is. Now, who's your favorite fella? Sophia, who's your favorite? Happy about it. Didn't you like her? Oh, I adored her. She was like another mother to me. In fact, she was the only friend I had. I was a lonely child. My sisters refused to play with me because I was so beautiful. <laughs> Do you know what that's like? No, of course you don't. Well, yes, we have it in our box. Shut up, Rose. <laughs> I'm sorry you wasted a whole trip out here, but we're not handing out free gifts today. Why don't you drop by again in another 30 years or so, and we'll see what we can do. They grow up so quickly, don't they? <laughs> I think Big Daddy would want you... I want you to have this. Blanche, I don't know what to say. <laughs> This isn't the right music box. <laughs> That's the only music box there is. The music box I gave your father. Four or two times together. <laughs> <laughs> you truly are a, a, a considerate, compassionate, understanding woman. A lovely woman. Delicate, innocent, enchanting.
tell on the phone with Abby? Blanche, I can't get Abby off the phone. Tell her a St. Olaf story. What will that do? <laughs> Give it a shot. <laughs> he wants to make sure I'm home and not out with some other guy. I have to make him jealous. Dorothy, put on a suit and a tie. Let's go by his hotel. <laughs> Ma, I'm not going to put on a suit and a tie. Are you satisfied, Blanche? My mother wants to date me. <laughs> told me that I looked nice with a little lilt in his voice and tried to blow my skirt over my head. Everything but the white horse, huh, pussycat? <laughs> Look, Sophia Petrillo doesn't give up. She fights for her man. She can overcome any... Having a chaperone is an old southern tradition. <laughs> Grammy here brought me up since I was a child. She's the one who taught me how to put up peach preserves and make my own clothes. <laughs> we was po. <laughs> These paramedics never give up. <laughs> Don't end this, Blanche. My wife doesn't understand me. Well, I do. You're a cheat. Get out. Say, Tuck. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm a little nervous. Well, that's good. It'll keep you on your toes. <laughs> Too bad there won't be anything underneath them. <laughs> okay, we take off in five minutes. <clears throat> Are you excited? Dumbstruck. Oh, I know that feeling. <laughs> grand. Just grand. You know, Blanche, this is like a perfect family. Well, almost perfect. Maybe someday there'll be room for... Because I didn't think I could do any better. And that's why I went to that drive-in movie with Stan. And that's why I got pregnant. And that's why I got married. So what are you saying? If it wasn't for me, you would have married John already? I don't know. Maybe. Or maybe I would have met somebody else. Somebody wonderful. But I'll... Cleavage or a lot of leg. <laughs> that depends on what you're going for. A chuckle or a guffaw. <laughs> Blanche, I think a conservative ensemble is in Sophia's best interest. Oh, there'll be music? <laughs> now, where are you going? A pension fund. I'm not going to be getting pension checks anymore. Well, I can't afford to live without that pension. Well, honey, now, let's not panic. I'm sure they can't just cut you off. She's right. There has to be a good explanation. Honey, you'll call them tomorrow. Everything will be fine. Well, what if it's not? What if I can't pay my own way? What if I can't afford food? What if I have to sleep outside in some park? You know, there's an old Italian saying for times like this. Scappa, to see my fortuna. What does that mean? Get away from me, you bad luck. <laughs> okay, that's it. Drink this. It's a secret potion from the old country. Guaranteed. Vivian meets Sue Ann Nivet. <laughs> I said, no, it's the other way around. I'm playing the vamp. Betty's playing the nitwit. <laughs> I said, oh, no, that's very interesting. <laughs> the next thing I know... But there's one thing I do have. Now, uh, what's that, Mom? 2,000 shares of Xerox, which I bought at... My health, I've got my health. <laughs> Listen, Ma, I made an appointment for you for 2 o'clock this afternoon. Either you go and get your hearing checked, or I will make life miserable for you. Oh, Rose, Miles called earlier. Oh, he must have gotten the ring. I, I sent it back. Honey, what happened? You were so happy about him yesterday. But that was before I talked to Charlie. What are you talking about? Well, I heard Charlie's voice coming out of Sophia. <laughs> or else... Blanche, why did you let her go? She'd be the perfect person to ask if there's anything about Jerry I could make fun of at the roast. <laughs> Same cup? Stanley, go into the kitchen. I want to talk to Ma in private. 
I'm sorry, Ma. I know I've disappointed you. How could you let this happen, Dorothy? How could you throw everything away for an hour's worth of passion? I don't know. It just sort of... What do you mean it? Not. We've been going to a therapist together, and he's making some wonderful progress. Oh. Hi, it's me, Stan. And who's that good-looking monkey with you? Don't be a toast. Okay. <laughs> To finality and closure. To husbands being out of our lives and gone forever. Oh, oh. Dorothy! No, wait, wait, this is good. I mean, don't cry. Why are you crying? Our husband out of his jug with the X's on it and wearing a Santa's beard and just screaming at the lawn jockey to do him a little dance. <laughs> Rose, hold me. Oh. <laughs> Can I help you folks? Uh, well, excuse me, you don't, you don't really know me. My name is Blanche Devereaux. My family used to live here, and... Uh, it's, it's silly, but, uh, you know, I'm in a youthful environment. I, I want to feel youthful. Well, if it's important to you, I'll support you. But why didn't you tell me about it earlier? Well, for the same reason that those formulas that dye hair do it gradually. I mean, it's the kind of thing you want people to notice, but not to be able to pinpoint. I didn't know I didn't. Oh, Thor, I have a confession to make. Uh, no, Rose, I have a confession to make. Please. It has taken me nine years, ever since I heard Charlie passed away, to get up the nerve to say this. Nine years to build up... Needed because the plaster behind her headboard all fell off? <laughs> We're back in 30 seconds, ladies. Listen... I'm not going to do this. Blanche, if you leave, they'll fire me. Good. <laughs> My mother is here. My teacher is here. Good. Exactly a Disney movie, is it? <laughs> uh, Chuck, this is my roommate Rose, and this is my roommate Dorothy, and her mama Sophia. Oh, yes, I recognize them from TV. You, you saw the show? Yes, I did, Blanche. It was one of the things that attracted me to you. Oh, well, I, you don't understand. No, I do understand. God didn't pull out my chair, and then when the check came, he made me pay half the bill. <laughs> what did I ever do to deserve that? Sounds to me like you put out before dinner again. <laughs> she loves you, yay. <laughs> Hello? Yes, this is she. Oh, my God, it's them. It's Jeopardy. I did? Oh, this is wonderful. Yeah, wonderful. What? Yes, yes, she's my, she's my roommate. Oh, that is... Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. Come on, sing something for us. Something wrong, Sophia? I don't believe it. My Dorothy is popular. After 60 years of bargaining with God, it's finally happened. <laughs> Our agreement. I'm off to Calcutta to work with the poor. <laughs> Are you kissing? Hello. <laughs> Dorothy, Miles, lips aflame, they were kissing. And? And she's pregnant with his love child. What do you mean, and? <laughs> Isn't that enough? Aren't you shocked? Well, not really. I, I saw them kiss. 